Can you tell us about your study on making media accessible? Response by Chelsea Jones. So this study uh, covered a year-long project at Humber College that paired professional disabled media makers with a cohort of 40 students. And these were senior level students in the broadcast television and videography program. And they were tasked as teams to make three films and a podcast that were sort of rooted in critical access theory. And by that, I mean that we really wanted students to think about the way that they're normally taught about access and then think beyond that. So in Ontario, where the study took place, we were working in Toronto, journalism students, um, they have to learn media accessibility in ways that tend to be regulated by the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act or the AODA. So this might mean, for example, making, making a film and then tacking on some access gestures like transcriptions or ASL interpretation or something like that. So instead of thinking of access as a last step, we wanted access to be the first step. We wanted it to be an integral part of the design of the project, and we wanted students to be able to learn about access from disability communities who are doing this kind of creative work and who have a legacy and a big stake in access. So the purpose of the study was to think really expansively about access through a public pedagogy kind of project. And what ended up happening um, was that our project was interrupted by COVID-19, as with most people's research. So we had planned to do focus groups and surveys, and we ended, taking, we ended up taking those things online. So we did focus groups with 17 participants, and we surveyed 22 of those participants. And what we found was that working collectively in sort of a public pedagogy sort of way, um, it ended up challenging our conventional ideas about how we could make media accessible. The main thing was that it challenged us to think beyond just using a checklist, just sort of tacking on the, that access. And instead, we began thinking about how we could include accessibility as a really important design feature of any production from the beginning and a feature that makes a film or a podcast really um, desirable and creative. And access then becomes very invitational because it broadens the audience.